coming in hot. Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Now I have been asked to produce the assembly drawing of the control handle assembly. So that's what I have come to do. So let's start. So we are going to begin by first drawing a horizontal line and a vertical line. So this will be my horizontal line. This will also be my vertical line. That's the plan. Now I am giving the distance to be 50. We need 25 on each side. So I'm going to measure 25 on each side. So that's my 25 on each side. Next, I am giving distance from here the center point to be 42. So I'm going to measure that one too. Then I'll draw a center line through that one. Then I'll draw a vertical line too from the 25 I measured initially. Same thing to here. Next, I'm mean, given that the radius is 50, but then it's a center line. Let's draw that one too. I'm going to stand here and draw a center line. Next, in order to locate this center point, you need to measure this 64. Now, this 64 is shared equally between these two sides. So that's 32 here, 32 here. So I'm going to measure 32 here. And 32 here. Then I'll draw a vertical line to meet right there. Right now, we have now located. The centers for these circles. Now this has a radius of ten. This has a radius of five. So let's draw that one. So join the first one with the radius of ten. That's ten. It's done at this point. I need to draw same thing to here. Next, I'm going to take out my five. Stand here and draw. Stand here too. Draw. 
Next, I'm going to just turn Gen OP into this. This and this and then this This was in five. Let's measure it again. So let's try it too. There are too many double lines. I think we should get it now. Then finally this one. to deepen out this a bit all right this one looks a bit better let's proceed now there's this 50 radios here but then it's touching externally with this then radius so if it's touching externally i'm going to add so 50 plus then give us 60. so you stand here in square manac stand here in square manac and where the intersection now stand there open 50 when you have this so let's do that so i'm going to measure out 60. I'm going to stand here and inscribe an arc. Same thing, inscribe an arc. That's going too far. Then I open to 15. Then I'm going to stand here. Let's extend this axe a bit. So that's the intersection. 
That's the intersection. Now, where, where the intersection you now stand in open 50, then you have the app. This way the intercept. Then second one. Where the intercept. Right. So now let's finish off this. Alright, so we are done with the front elevation without the booking lines in there and the circles. Now let's draw the section YY to in addition. So I'm going to project all these lines to the side. So do the center line. So we are done projecting these lines. All right, so next, let's measure out this thing. So, so that's the thing. I'm going to project the one too. Next, we are going to draw. Let's draw these two circles to then project them. This eight diameter hole and this twenty two diameter. So for the so for the first one is eight diameter. So the radius is four. I'm going to open four and draw a circle. Then this circle doesn't look oh. okay, this looks better. Let's draw the eleven. We have these two for the eleven. So now let's project them. Project these ones too. Right. So you are going to draw this one. Distance of twenty five. So let's start for the upper I'm going to measure a distance of twenty five here.
Then I'll draw the vertical line through. Next, I mean, given that this small distance is 3, so let's measure that one to enjoy vertical line. That's the line too. Next, I'm giving from this point to this point to be 16. Let's measure from here to here to 16. Okay, so that's 16. And we draw a vertical line. Before we draw the vertical line, we know this fillet here to be 3 millimeters, right? So let's measure 3 millimeters here. Then we draw this line. Let's measure 3 millimeters from this side. 1, 2, 3. And I'll draw a vertical line there rather. Next, this distance has given to us a 6, so let's measure that one and draw. I'm going to measure 6 too at this point. And draw another vertical line. Uh, so before we proceed, let's let's take in the parts that we know we have already drawn. So we have this base, then we have this side too. Then we have this point. Then we have this line. Then this line too. And this one. Now, they are fillet at these points. They are fillet here and here. How many radius of 3? So you are going to measure 3 from both sides and draw. I'm going to measure 3 from this side. And so that's 3. Then we'll join from here. Same thing here 3 from both sides. So this is our first 3. That's our second 3. Then we'll join. Alright, so next you have these videos of 3 here and here. In our case, is here and here. So I'm going to measure that one here. So we have 3 here. We have 3 here. Then we have three here. So this is going this way. And this is coming this way. 
I went to join them. Next, this line goes all the way up to here, which corresponds to this point. So this line will go all the way up to here. So let's take it that one to you. Then this one to same thing. Then we have this radius of three here. Radius of three here. So I'm going to measure three from this side. And to the top two three millimeters. Top to two millimeters. Then I'll join the curve. Project these ones too. Next, it goes up to this point. This point corresponds with this. So then coming to our join. We have this point. So you need to measure three from this side too. So you can get our radius three. They will join. Then this point goes all the way to the top. And it comes down. Sorry. This point goes all the way to the top. So this point is going to go to the top and this one to, to this point so we are this point so this one goes to this point And before you draw that one, we have been given that the distance here is 6. So let's measure out that 6 from this side and draw a vertical line there. So that's my 6. Then I'll draw a vertical line over there. Then just dipping it out. Okay. This point. So now the part you have left is this fillet here of three. That fillet corresponds this side so I'm going to measure three from this side then I have my fillet here too now it's completed Complete this side. All right, yeah. so, so right now what's left is this line we have to draw, and that line comes from this side. So let's project this one too. We can draw this one. And draw this one too. And this will become our center line. Okay. 
Now we have joined this part here. Let me bring it here. We have joined this part here. So now what we have to do is to insert this handle into this part. Alright, so before we continue, let's see. Now we are going to fit this part in here. Sorry, we are going to fit this handle in here. Then this pivot will enter through here. Then this color will come in here. Then the pin will also be there in here. And before we start, let's see. We have the distance to be 64 and we have this to be 50 so meaning from here to here it's going to be 64 minus 50 and that's going to give us 14 14 right so bringing it to our drawing we have this center line here so in order to get to this part, we're going to measure 14 to this part, 14, right? But before we do that, I'm mean giving that it has a thickness of 5, so meaning in between is 2.5, right? So now let's measure the 5 here. Let's measure the five here. So that's the five. The two point five will be here. Now let's let's draw a center line through that one. Through the two point five. We have that one. Next, we are going to locate this 14 and we draw this. We're going to measure 14. That's 14. Uh, another 14. There's three. So let's measure that three too. We need to draw horizontal lines. Right. Now I am mean giving this part a diameter of 6. So meaning the radius of 12 here. I'm going to measure 12. Sorry. <laughs> I'm giving a diameter of 12 here, so meaning a radius of 6. Radius of 6. Now I'll draw a vertical line. Right, so next. This has a diameter of 9, so mean radius of 4.5. From this side, I'm going to measure 4.5 on both sides. I see this at 4.5. Before you draw that one, I'm giving a distance from this point to this point to be 32. So from here to this point, I'm 32. So I extend this line. And I measure 32. Right. 
in our jaw and horizontal line. Next, I'm giving a diameter of 16 over here. So, eight on both sides. Now, that eight is coming to join this knife we've measured. Then one millimeter. So you have this part. Then this one too. All right, so. We are done with this part, so done with this part. Now we are coming down. Now, this is the midline. As I said earlier, on this has a distance of five, so meaning 2.5 from both sides. We are fully measured that. So, I'm going to draw a vertical line through that point. Another one to here. No. This side, this side has a diameter of twelve. So this is twelve, and an extension of six. So coming to our diagram. The 12 is going to be somewhere here. I'm going to measure from here to here 6. Here to here 6. Then 6. So let's measure. It, it has measured already. You need to measure six here. No, we do have a Before we proceed, let's let's take in our what we have done so far. So we have this, we have this, we have this. this. Alright, so coming to our join and compare. Let's see where we are. So we have drawn this. We have drawn this. So we need to project this. Now you are, you are projecting this from the center here. A distance of distance of fifty. From the center a distance of fifty. Now that distance will correspond with this fifty I've already measured here. So we can just Project this. So let's let's draw. And 
de espaço aqui. Não tô vivendo nada assim. This part has a diameter of 20. Base for me. So many videos of them. This is our center line. This is also our center line now. So you have to measure 20. You have to measure 10, 10. So let's measure 10, 10. So now we have drawn this part. Now, now when you are drawing this initially, you forgot to draw. Sorry, forgot to draw this part. So let's draw the one quickly. So now. see so now this part this part has fit in here fit in here that's it now you need to measure 25 from this point to the end of it then three here so a distance of 28 so coming to a diagram here the center line we need to measure 28 from this point to finish off with this so 28 That's around 28. Then we draw vertical line. Then we complete this part. Alright. So now we have successfully drawn. It's left with. Left with this one, let's quickly do that. It has a radius of 10, so I'm going to measure 10. Stand here, 10. Stand here, red intersect. I'll stand there now. This one. now we have drawn this part into this part so now what is that for us to do is to insert this pivot start this way inside so let's do that so this is where we have got in to so far. So I come to insert this pivot start inside. Alright, so next it has a distance or a thickness of six millimeters from the center line. So let's measure out that one. Okay. Let's measure out six millimeters. Now draw a vertical line. Next, I've been giving the diameter is 16. 
the radius of it. So let's measure that it. Then we draw a horizontal line. The horizontal line. Next, it has the sorry, it has the radius here to be three. So we measure three from both sides. Join the field. So I'm taking that one too. All right, so now we have we have the head here. Next one is this having a a distance of 10 and this distance of 11 you, you already have this distance of 11 so it's left with the vertical distance of 10 so I'm going to measure 5 from both sides then we we'll draw Let me clean this part so it doesn't interfere. So we have this here. This part is here. Then we have it's up to this point. Then this Right. So you have this part. Now remaining is it. That follows here from this side. It. So it follows through. But the whole height from this side to this side is 44. So let's measure that. So from this side, I'm going to measure 44. So 44 and here. I'm going to draw a vertical line there. Now extend this. Extend this one too. Next, you have this whole here from a diameter of 30. So, so let's measure the one to 30. So that's, that's going to be where the 30 is. Sorry, yes, 30. So now you have successfully drawn the pivot start to inside. Now what's left is this color that will come here. Now, sorry, this color that will come. Now, you have a distance of 12. Sorry, distance of 6. Distance of 6 and a diameter of 16. Diameter of 16. So, from this side, I'm going to measure 6. That's six. Then we draw a vertical line to it. Now 
Now, here's the diameter. Diameter of 16. So, 8 on both sides. They will draw a horizontal line. Let me take it out. So we have this pin here. Now lastly, let's see, there's this 8 diameter hole here, that will fit into this 10 diameter hole here. So let's measure 8, so 4 on both sides, so 4 on both sides, then we draw a vertical line too. Alright, so what you have basically done is that you have kept this part into this with this part going through here. Then this pivot start enters through this part. Then it's locked behind by this color and this pin. So coming to our drawing, we have this as the body, then this as the handle that enters. The pivot starts locking through and the color behind with the pin to over here. This is a section view through section Y Y. So now let's section it and let's see how it will turn out. So now we are starting with the body. This all this is the body. So let's start. Alright, so we are done sectioning the body. Now we are going to section the control handle. Now, since it's a different component, it's going to move in the opposite direction. Now, let's section the one too.
right so we are done with the handle too now for the pivot start and the color in the pin because the cutting plane is going through longitudinally we are not going to section them so this is the assembly drawing for the section view that section yy all right let's move on to the front elevation now you're going to attach i'm going to draw this sorry i'm going to draw this handle at this point then this point this 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 people start in this color also go in so let's start let me clean these lines So I'm going to begin by first drawing this, the handle. Now this stands from this point to this point I'm going to as 25. So let's measure that. Or if you don't measure it, we can. Since you already have it here, we can extend it. But let's measure. 25. 25. Then a radius of three, radius of three. Next, I mean, given this diameter of twenty, so I'm going to draw that one too. That's it, so let me complete it. See if this one can come out. The whole line is not too much. So now let's let's measure the ten again. Then the hole is too big. Alright, so we have that to be at ten. Next this dance from sorry from this point to this point and give it to us at 50 but we know this point this point is 50 so it's already here so i'm going to draw this 12 and this 8 here so a radius of 6 here a radius of 4 here at this point so let's measure 6 Then four. Oh, four. 
Now from this one, we know from this one, you know it will terminate here. Really distance of twelve. So six. So six. And I can extend this one too. You can draw it with the line. And we know this line is from this point. Then it comes here. So let's draw. Let's draw this one. It's tangent to it. Same thing to the tangent to it. And it comes here. Oh, I think she she missed it. And it comes here a distance of twenty five. So now the twenty five with the radius of three. So you can measure three to from both sides. Yeah, we know it comes to it. This one was too easy. Let me see. This one is better. When it comes to it. Then we have these three here that we can join. So this would give. So we have this part. We have this part too. Then we have it going here. This is going here. So now, what is left with is the top here distance of 32 but we already have it here so you can just all right so you're going to measure this is nice so 4 4.5 4.5 the center line to here and the top to 16 so 8 on both sides then it comes down to this Then it comes here. Then this. Next, I'm going to measure ten millimeters. Stand here, describe an arc. Stand here, describe an arc. The way they intersect, you stand there. And you have this. So now I've drawn the handle. So now you have to draw this, the 
the the fuel start. It has a diameter of 16, so a radius, radius of 8. I'm going to measure 8. And I'll draw. Circle. Next, this sorry, this from here is ten, and it's also ten here. So five from which side? So I'm going to measure that one too. And I extend it to get a square out of it. Right, so we have our square now. So now what's left? Is this eight? Sorry, is this eight diameter circle in it? I need to measure 4 for the radius. Oh. Alright, so we have successfully inserted this handle, this handle in here. And this people starts to in here. Now, since this is the front elevation, the color and the pin, the color and the pin are behind, so you're not going to see it. So this is what you are going to see. So now I think this this should finish it up. So now I'm going to draw the bill of material stable, and we are done. All right, so let's label the various parts. So we have. this part as the handle then we have this part as the color then for the pin let's see if we can project it up we also have this the waters then we have this color, this pivot here. Then we have the body. I think that's all. So, here's the body handle. Then So now let's draw the reference balloons. Then finally we have this one.
so I'm going to label them. I'll label this as part one. This as part two. This as part three. Part four. Finally, part five. So now let's draw the bill of materials table. I'm going to draw the horizontal line. This is a bit scary. It's better. Then a vertical line. Then we have how many parts? We have six parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'm going to divide them. Okay, the book has given us a way to number them. So let's let's follow according to the book. So according to the book, item one is body. Okay, so you had that right. Then item two is the handle. You also had that one. Three is the pivot. Four is the color. Five is the pin. Okay, so it's correct. So we have part number one, two, three, four, five. Then we have part name. One is the body. Two is the handle. Three is the pivot. Start. Four is the color. Five is the pin. Number required or number of to be one 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 so you have And I write the heading. 
Yeah, so that's it. So I think we are done. So this is the final assembly drawing for the control handle assembly together with the bill of material stable. Thank you very much. <laughs>